Hello baby queers and welcome back to my channel. It is time for another new subreddit, one I am skeptical to get into, but oh well, let's do it. You know the drill though, before we get started, go get hydrated, grab some water, or some tea, or whatever else you like to drink, and then we'll look at some memes. Are you hydrated? Good. Let's go. Starting really strong. Today in Starbucks, when I placed my order, I gave the name Spartacus as a joke. When they called me to pick up my order, I stood up and yelled, I am Spartacus! Everyone turned to look at me. Then an old man sitting in the corner stood up and yelled, No, I am Spartacus! And then one by one, everyone in the Starbucks stood up and yelled, I am Spartacus! Today's gonna be a good day. You know, whenever we make fun of people for telling stories that seem so obviously fake, it starts with, and then everyone in the Starbucks clapped. And that's why this is a good one to start on. My god. Because until the... Everyone um, turned to look at me, it's very believable. Like, maybe you really did that because you thought it was really funny. Because honestly, it's the kind of thing I would probably think is funny too, to give like a very, very obviously fake name. Right? Of like a, a, a character from a show or something. But everything after, I find very hard to believe. But oh well. <laughs> 30 years ago, a homeless man asked me for money to buy a meal. I took him to dinner and then bought him a new pair of shoes, some socks and a blanket. Then at the end of the night, he revealed that he wasn't homeless and that in fact that he was wealthy and owned a business. He then offered me a job. That job paid twice as much than what I had been earning. That, he said, was how he recruited his employees. Again, I very much doubt that anyone is unhinged enough to recruit people like this. Because as much as I respect the treat everyone with respect, like no matter who they are, like no matter if they're like a homeless person or the janitor or like the manager, you should treat everyone with respect. But like this seems very far-fetched, you know? <laughs> Okay, I'm sat in a vegan coffee shop, and the guy next to me whipped out a packet of crisps from his bag, and the barista darted over screaming, No, they contain milk powder! Back in the bag! I'm crying. Can I... Like, if you know certain packets have, like, milk powder in them, because you're vegan, and you check those kind of bags, show you know which bags, or like, which brands of potato chips, have milk powder, but A, can you really tell from the distance, like if that, it is that specific brand? And secondly, I would be more offended because like a lot of coffee shops don't allow you to eat food that you didn't buy there in the first place. But still this, this seems so pointless to make up as well. Like People make up the weirdest shit for it at a point, I'm telling you. <laughs> Okay, don't know if this is a gym story in the truest sense, but it does involve someone from my gym. Last weekend, it was about 3am and I was in bed. I heard a load of crashing and smashing from my kitchen. I went to have a look and there was a big hooded guy who climbed through the window and was trying to rob me. When I told him to get out, he looked around and it was a guy from my gym. I asked, wait, do you go to this gym? And he said yes, we started talking. Long story short, he invited me round to his to his house for dinner one day and gave me his number. That's the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me for sure. Again, why would you make this up? Like, I'm not saying I believe the story, but at the same time I'm questioning it. How? Why would you make this up? Why would you make it up? But even if it did happen, why would you post it? Like, no one is gonna believe you if this actually happened. Like, this just seems so dumb. My god. Like, sure, a guy was trying to rob me and now we hang out and we're best friends because... Sure, I like going out with, or like, hang out with people who will try to rob me again at some point. Sure. <laughs> Safe for work answer, the sun. Um, I, again, we don't have context, but alright. Not safe for work answer, two girls having sex. Once a female friend told me she had sex with another female and really liked it. Me, rarely drinking, but having had a few beers, I just blurted it out. <laughs> I'd love to have seen that. 
and we had a whole conversation about why I think that's hard to see even if I'm not involved. A week later, she invited me over for drinks, but instead the other woman was there and they had amazing sex right in front of me. Loved every second of it. I'm not going to mention just how wrong fetishizing lesbians is, but this whole thing just screams fetishizing lesbian fantasy. What are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> this isn't meant to be mean, I love my regulars. But within the last day, I've had five of my regulars ask for my number. I asked one guy why he asked after a year, and he said I always remember him and know his order. Okay, I remember your order and your name because I hear it two times a week. I put your order in and I can have you pay without saying more than hi, how are you? The total is 19.4. It's literally a quick way to get you away from my counter so I can do other things. Please don't ask out waitstaff at the place you visit on a weekly basis. It's just no. Honestly, agreed, right? Like flirting with or asking out your waiters or waitresses. It's super weird because they're at their workplace and they're literally obligated to be nice to you. And sure, if you're there like once or twice a week, they're probably gonna remember your order and your name at some point because you're there so often, right? But literally, don't ask them out. Don't ask them out or like flirt with them and make them super uncomfortable. That's just weird. But still, I think some of this is probably true, but I don't know, I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> okay, the cat just went over to the HomePod Mini on my desk and meowed at it, and Siri said, Sure, here's some music for you, and the cat perched on the windowsill listening to Garbage and Elliot Smith. I just want to know how long this has been going on. Honestly, I think it's hilarious if Siri does actually speak cat. And you have a cat who just randomly meows things at like this thing or like one of those like Amazon thingies or like the Google thingies. I think it's hilarious if it would work because you know that someone's just out here having an asshole cat who just constantly does it to disturb some shit. So it just starts randomly playing really dumb music in the middle of the night. It'd be hilarious. But I don't think your HomePod Mini actually speaks cats. So, um, a video, or it didn't happen. <laughs> okay, I'm with you. Some youngers in the post office called me a boomer a few months back. I'm Gen X and will eat a man whole and you won't find the bones. I turned around, walked up to him and flicked him hard on the forehead and said really loudly, What was that you called me? Right up to his nose. He was so shocked that all brought like me actually took him on. His mates all pointed at him and laughed. I could feel his little dick shriveling as I stood there. The lady behind the counter clapped. It was glorious. I hope that bruise I gave him came up good and purple. Okay, first of all, is physical assault really the answer? If someone did call you a boomer? No. Because if someone calls you a silly name, you don't go up to them and try to bruise them or hit them or... How, how, is, how is that appropriate? First of all. Second of all, the whole, the lady behind the counter clapped. As soon as you bring up people clapping or cheering, it's just gonna sound so fake. People don't give a shit. They're out there trying to run their errands and trying to get back home because they have more important shit to do or they just wanna do more things they enjoy. So no one's gonna be there and be like, Ooh, you, you, wow, you assaulted someone. Wow. What are you doing? What are you doing? My God. <laughs> Here's something shocking. So this morning, in a mainstream public school in my city, a science teacher asked the class, if you would be a celebrity, who would you be? A very gentle and at the top of his class student replied, that's easy, Andrew Tate. Immediately, the teacher became irate, shouted some obscenities at the student and suspended him from the school. And he was forced out of the school. As the student was being escorted off the school premises, he politely asked why he was being suspended. He was told because by mentioning Andrew Tate's name, he distracted all the girls and women of the school, over 850 people at said school. Enough said. Yeah, I agree. Source. Literally. Mainstream public school. What even is a mainstream public school? Isn't the public school generally?
mainstream because that's why it's a public school. But that's not the point. Literally, are we actually still out here defending Andrew Tate or like out here claiming shit like this to make Andrew Tate seem cool? But literally, literally, but even if some kid asked or like said that they would be him if they could be a celebrity. I don't think some teacher is immediately gonna like start screaming obscenities at a student. Literally, what are you doing? <laughs> In sixth grade, the homework teacher dropped dead from alcohol poisoning right before the class started. We all kind of sat there after her head hit the desk, except for this one kid named Paul who walked out yelling, fine, I'll tell the office you freaking pussies. Honestly, this one I, from all the posts I saw, this one isn't like the hardest to actually imagining being true. Because you know there are just gonna be some kids like that who would actually yell this and walk out. You know, still, it's hard to believe, but it's not the hardest to believe we're hearing today. So, eh, you know, at least it was funny. So, uh, points for that, I guess. <laughs> Y'all, help, my parents just bought me an iPhone 14 because I told them that I was TikTok famous. When I'm not, please help me, I want to keep the phone, they're gonna check tomorrow, please blow this video up. Ah yes, because a parent would definitely buy someone an iPhone 14 solely because they have a TikTok fame that they didn't even bother to confirm before buying the phone, definitely. <laughs> yeah, this just seems like trying to get TikTok famous. That's that's all you're doing. You're just trying to become TikTok famous. There is no phone. Well, there is a phone involved. You have a TikTok, obviously, but y'all, what the hell? Like, no parents actually gonna do that, though. They have a point. <laughs> you know, I'm minding my own business, eating lunch, and some rather large woman with purple hair comments that she likes my shirt because it makes it easier to spot the assholes in this world. I'm not sure what she has against British motorcycles, but <laughs> whatever, I guess. Again. Why would some random person come up to you and be like, Hey, I like your shirt because I can tell you're an asshole. A, if you were wearing a whatever misogynist shirt, I might have believed you that someone walked up to you and called you an asshole. Because that's kind of fair. But literally, this is just a haha, I'm, I'm cool and I'm just gonna be like shitting on people who whatever have purple hair and also we love the fat phobia of coming for people who don't even like exist but you know you just gotta be that like i'm gonna make up the story about how someone was rude to me um and called me an asshole and to really drive it home i'm just gonna insult their bodies and say they have purple hair because oh my god the old colorful hat liberals what are you doing, literally? <laughs> ah yes, talking about this is this is gonna be a good one. The fuck is up with feminists in school? So I was in homeroos and this fat ass munchkin was talking about weakness and how great feminism is and that Andrew Tate is a donkey. Agreed so far. Anyways, he then comes up to my desk and when I'm just trying to do some notes for another class I didn't finish and his stomach covers most of the desk and I'm not the most built person. I'm not muscly, but I'm not fat or chunky either. He says to me, do you care about being skinny and turning big? And I said, yes. He gaps, like, what the fuck is up with this kid? He then says, so you're fat phobic? Yeah, I don't want to be some 500 pound Discord mod who can barely stand and has stage five kidney failure. This motherfucker looks like he's gonna faint and starts yelling it, crying. They got to him. You're one of those masculine pigs, aren't you? It takes a lot of audacity to call someone who's stronger, not only physically, but mentally, than you'll ever be a pig, especially when you weigh 200 pounds more than them. The teacher said, he's got a point. He screamed in my face and went back to his seat sobbing and cry whispering. This isn't even red pill, blue pill, it's so much worse. We're expected to just express weakness and emotion like it's nothing, like some emo. Now, as someone who's on the more insensitive side, I don't understand why they force it on us. We're definitely turning into Wally. I don't even know where to start. Okay, I know where to start. Why are we bringing Wally into this? 
like honestly literally like what is what is that and um, the second the game this picture looks kind of funny to me but it's still my god i i don't know what to say I, first of all i really again i don't think random people are gonna like start fights or arguments with someone when they're just sitting there in homeroom and then the teacher's also gonna insult their students, obviously. What is going on in schools? Because... I don't think this is it. <laughs> Babysitter for hire. Today, my girlfriend and I went out to my neighbors just down the street and left my 12 and 14 year old daughters at home. The 12 year old found the fire extinguisher and thought it was whipped cream, put it in her mouth and tried to eat it. The 14 year old didn't bother to call us. Luckily, the 12 year old is fine. <laughs> this stuff is safe. Fuck my life. Again? I do think 12 year olds know what a fire extinguisher is. And even if they don't, they know it's not something to eat. Like, what is it? If you're trying to look for a babysitter, this is not the way to go about it, I think, but oh well. <laughs> I was dating a girl some years ago, and when she entered the restaurant, I get up and present myself. The first thing she said was, good, about 190 centimeter. The watch looks real and present himself. <laughs> Sorry, but she kept talking. He must pay for all the dinners and my clothes, sex whenever I want, and must be feminists. I said goodbye and went away. The day after, I found my cowbells broken. <laughs> sure, buddy. I swear. Yeah, well, I swear to God I'm losing my mind. I know I didn't go into the supper right before. These people are freaking, like... We see a lot of weird stuff on this channel. We see a lot of rude people on this channel, but... Again, why would you lie about, like, random stuff to be like... I'm... We, as, as men, are the victim because there are so many bullshit women out here who want to make us pay for everything. So you just make up a fake story to prove your point when... All you're really doing is making yourself seem absolutely insane. Like, I don't even doubt that there are, there are women out there who are gonna expect something like this. Because, sure, when I say people are crazy, I obviously don't just mean men. But still, I don't think so. <laughs> I once accidentally called 911 on my way home while me and my buddy were screaming out to waiting for the end. Only realized when I was putting on a new song and saw the call had been going on for 5 minutes. The operator filed a report saying two males singing waiting for the end by Linkin Park out loud, saying there is no emergency, we're sorry. The cops came minutes later and lectured, out, lectured us on road safety and then high-fived me for having good tasty music. <laughs> One of the best memories I have from the song. Listen. I think if someone does actually call like emergency responders by accident and they just hear someone like singing really loudly, they might just hang up or try to like get an answer out of you, right? But still, I don't think they're ever gonna dispatch someone to lecture you on road safety. Safety and also saying he then congratulated me and high five me for having good tasty music kind of has the same vibes of and then everyone in the Starbucks clapped. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, with my girlfriend, when we were both 16, we made love so loudly that the next day most of our neighbors were giving thumbs up to me. An older woman even came up to us and told me, <laughs> you're really trying to put a baby in her. So next time when you try and call me an incel, think about it first. Sounds like something an incel would say. It does sound like something an incel would say. Literally, like the whole... We made love so loudly that everyone clapped or gave me thumbs up. Again, your neighbors aren't going to be super proud of you for having sex. Literally, no one wants to hear their neighbors have sex. Literally, like no one's out and be like, ah oh, yeah, good for him, he's getting laid. Like, no, no, no one wants to hear that shit. Like, what are you doing? And again, like no one's going to like come up to you or give you thumbs up and like literally say something like that to you? No. Just no. <laughs> okay, if you're having a bad day, I've been refused to drink at the petrol station because they thought I had cocaine around my nostril. 
Little did they know it was dried up snot. Happy Tuesday. First of all, I don't think people at gas stations even look at you that closely. And also, as long as you're not misbehaving, they literally... Why would they care? Even if you have cocaine around your nose. As long as you're, like, behaving and just, like, going in there and, like, not causing trouble. Why would they care? They're just gonna sell you stuff. Like, let's literally that off. They don't care enough. Also, why would you... I question why people make shit up like this the entire video. I know that, but... I kind of appreciate this one because it's he's at least kind of making fun of himself. And I appreciate it. But again, why would you do this? <laughs> okay, I have a skin condition. At this thing in Safeway in summer, I wore a tank top to let my skin heal with direct sunlight a bit. A lady grabbed her young, impressionable aged daughter really back and said, Don't get too close, we might catch that. I could have been ignorant with a lot of people watching. Instead, I knelt down and explained its genetics. It means I'm born with it and you can't catch this. I told the girl I'm sorry see, she had to see such horrible bully behavior. Her daughter was instantly bawling upset that her mommy is a mean bully to strangers. The mother lost her mind, everyone else thought it was perfectly done and a few clapped and cheered. Again. Again. As soon as you put the whole, oh everyone clapped and cheered or a few people clapped and cheered, no one's gonna believe you anymore. No one's gonna believe you anymore. I know there are asshole people like out. I can't talk. I know there are like asshole people out here who literally would be like very ignorant to what skin conditions be like, okay, like secretly kind of pulling that kid away from it so they don't catch it. But literally, A, if this happened, if someone actually said this to the kid, they're a fucking asshole and I would literally kind of upset you confronting them about it because yeah don't be an asshole and like bully other people why would what are you doing what are you doing but literally the whole and then the daughter cried this is where it starts to fall apart so far <laughs> a guy cat called me so i used my phone to hack his and messaged his girlfriends of what he did they all thanked me and now we're all best friends <laughs> true story again i don't really want to come for this because you should cat call obviously so, the thought of someone getting back at him for it is great, but still, this is kind of, it's not better. It's not better if you do it for a good thing versus a bad thing. Like, I find it easier to come for people who make shit up about how they got screamed at for liking Andrew Tate or thrown from the school or whatever. Sure, that's easier to make fun of. Because wanting to get back at people who can't call you or do other shit, like make fun of your skin condition, is fair. But still, it doesn't make it okay to make a bullshit for another point. That's just weird. <laughs> okay, I just watched a woman drink laundry detergent at Walmart, bottle to mouth, in the aisle. I said nothing, but when we met eye contact, she just gabbed and was like, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> Dude, I'm not worried about you buying it. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Honestly, if this is in America, I have an easier time believing this actually happens. But I, I want to call bull, but again, at least it's funny. You know, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I was on my way back from Hooters and my driver was a recent immigrant from Ukraine. I asked them what it was like living in Kiev under Trump compared to Biden, and he told me if Trump had just been re-elected, his country would not have been invaded by Russia. Heavy stuff. Again, 10 out of 10 didn't happen, and just stopped trying to make a bullshit story to push some political agenda. What are you doing? Literally. <laughs> I was in line buying condoms when my card got declined. <laughs> the little old lady behind me whispered in my ear, Oh snap, you just got cockblocked by Visa. Again? People don't engage with other people at grocery stores if they don't absolutely have to. Like, if someone's in your way, you might politely ask them to step to the side or something, but that's... that's it. You don't talk to strangers at grocery stores. Literally. No. Just no. Everyone's just there to get their stuff and go home to do other things. And literally... 
as funny as it is, or would be if some old lady literally says this to you, no one's actually gonna do it. But still, what are you doing? <laughs> Panic moment. Middle school, pops up on caller ID. Huh, relief moment. It's a school counselor with no bad news, and she just tells you that she's proud of you for being the parent that your kid needs. How much do you want to bet that this is the kind of parent that constantly either like screams at their kid for not behaving they want them to, you know, like, or immediately being like, oh my god, how dare you disrespect me like that if they come back at you with logic in a polite way, or just straight up emotionally manipulate the kids constantly, or be like, if you don't do all these things, I it means you don't love me, or whatever bullshit. What do you, what do you want to bet that's it? And you just like want to seem like a good parent to your Facebook friends because that way if they hear your kid talking shit about you because probably well deserved, you can just be like, no, 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 that didn't happen. Like the school thinks I'm a great parent. Y'all. <laughs> and honestly, y'all, I'm gonna end it here. My brain is melting, I can't take much more of this. Because it's, like, I still don't understand why. Like, why would you, why would you make all, all of this up for some internet points? Like, how do you care so much about internet points that you do it? That you just make up some random stories or something? Because honestly, a lot of people probably exaggerate when they tell stories or post things. Like, they might... I don't know, leave out a few details that maybe didn't go so well, or like, especially on social media, only post like the good things, sure. But to just straight up lie and make like these weird stories up, that just always seems so unbelievable. I don't get it. I don't get it. I really don't. But anyways, um, I hope y'all still feel sane after this video. If not, Sorry about it, neither do I. I'm sorry, but you gotta suffer with me. Um, but anyways, let's all finish our drink. And like, at least be hydrated if we're losing our mind, you know? And then I'll be back in three days with a video that's gonna be less frustrating, I promise. <laughs> See you in three days.